it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. With the summer holidays coming to a close, it's time for crazy season. What do I mean by crazy season? Well, all of the supermarkets, all of the shops, they get ready for Christmas. They're launching their new kind of seasonal products. Iceland are first out the gate, end of August. They've, they've teamed up with Heinz, Heinz beans, and they've come up with a few different products. Now, I've seen these circling around on the internet. Heinz beans hash browns. So they're hash browns filled with Heinz beans. They should be rather interesting. In the oven from frozen, they go in between 17 and 19 minutes. So we'll get a few of those in. They were two pound for the bag. And then we picked up a couple of packets. Well, we got Heinz beans, Texan style beans with spicy chili, chipotle and sweet corn. We're gonna make a burger out of that. I believe they're, well, yeah, they're vegan. So they've made some vegan burgers. I don't mind a bean burger. I've been eating bean burgers for years. Every, especially if I find one in a restaurant or a pub, a spicy, bean burger i quite fancy a, a spicy bean burger when i'm when i'm out and about someone's lit a fire um around here someone's lit a massive fire I'm like Wah! um uh, terraced houses isn't it there's so there's about 50 houses in the vicinity and it only takes one person to light a fire or light a barbecue and i'm not, I'm not against it but it's nine o'clock in the morning and they're lighting bonfires in their gardens <laughs> anyway um and then we got the beans Burgers original. So let's get these out. They were they were two pound fifty. So the burgers were two pound fifty. The bean burgers and the hash browns were two pounds. So they're gonna have to be quite big, and they of course they're gonna have to be quite big because they're filled with beans. So these are a good inch and a half thick so about 40 millimeters for the new people the, the younger generation watching if you're 44 years or 43 years of age you'll probably be still doing feet and inches right i'm going to put two of these in so they go in here what did i say air fryer 17 to 19 minutes now i've got to be careful with the cooking times here what is the cooking time with this one um bake for 19 minutes so it's about a similar thing these are the original burgers no plastic packaging which is really cool oh we're going to struggle for room that was the bean burger original. Let's see if we can tell the difference between the two colors. No, I think they're exactly the same. They look, this is the spicy one. Yeah, you're gonna struggle to tell the difference. Although, sweet corn. Sweet corn in the spicy one, right. Is there room? Is there room? I don't think there's going to be a room. Uh, we'll, we'll make room. There's just about room. There's just about room to get two, two bean burgers and two of the hash browns in. So I'm going to whack these on. Whack these on for 20 minutes and I'll be back when they're cooked. Right, this food is about cooked. Knock it off. There's a look at it sizzling away. I love an air fryer. I can't tell you how much I love an air fryer. Right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put the bread, I know I shouldn't do this, but putting bread rolls on bars and, oh. Right, this looks like the spicy one. That looks like the one with the Sweet corn in, and then this one. I'll get them up to the camera now. I'll just try not to burn myself as he picks them up with his bare hands. Right, let's get rid of that. So, uh, 
Burger. Burger. That looks like that looks like the spicy one. So I think we'll leave that to last. If I got it wrong, then I will I will say. Well, we're gonna get straight into the burgers. I'd love to show you the hash browns first and foremost, but if you've ever made a cheese toasty with baked beans in the middle, you will know that the baked beans in that cheese toasty will become molten in heat and they will drip and boil all over your hands. So I'm just gonna let these hash browns just cool down a little bit. So I'll eat some of the burger. Won't waste too much of your time, I promise you. And then we'll get the hash browns open because I know a lot of you are here for the hash browns. They're all over social media, aren't they? Right, let's get into this burger then. There's, there's a look at it. So I buttered the roll. I do like a bean burger. £2.50 for two burgers. They're quite thin. I expected them to be a little bit thicker, in all honesty. I'm just going to make sure I'm not eating the spicy one. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Oh, hold on. I was. Yeah, I was eating the spicy one first. So, this is completely different. It's beans. In a sort of paste. with a bit of cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg. You can see the Heinz beans there. Are they called Canelli? Are they Canelli beans? Heinz beans? I know they're a white bean, but what is the actual name for a Heinz baked bean? Is it, are they Canelli? Anyway. There's, there's a look at the Heinz baked beans. Makes a lot of sense really, doesn't it, for, for Heinz to make a bean burger. They're quite flavoursome. But a little thin. They could be a little thicker, couldn't they? They're nice. They're nice, but a bit thin. Right, let's get into the spicy one. Let's like, try and reset my taste buds. You get the chipotle. There's a little bit of a spicy burn on the back of the palate, but it's basically the same as the previous one, but with chipotle <clears throat> and lots more, lots more sweet corn. And a lot less baked bean. The other one, you can see lots of baked beans. This is more sweet corn than Heinz beans. But you're here for the hash brown, aren't you? Let's just rip this up and let's see if we're gonna burn ourselves. Was it ever gonna be pouring with baked beans? It's like a, they've drilled a 15 millimeter hole in the middle of a hash brown and they've inserted some baked bean into a very small hole. 
So what, what it looks like to me is that you're going to be eating a great big hash brown with a little bit of baked bean in there. I mean, I get it. I get why Iceland made these or Heinz and Iceland got together to make these. I get the concept. I get the fact that people are going to be talking about it on Instagram. But in hindsight, in reality, it's a very greasy, fatty hash brown. with a very small amount of Heinz baked beans in it. They had a problem with these. And it's the same problem I talked about with a cheese toasty. If you've ever made a cheese toasty with baked beans and you've eaten it too early, or you've been a bit greedy with the beans, put too much beans in there, you know, you know that they're, gonna, they're either gonna boil their hands or it's gonna run on your face and you're gonna burn your face. They're hot things, baked beans, when they get going. <laughs> they really are. So they had to like put the minimal amount of beans in here and make them quite dry. There's no real bean juice. It's just slightly dry baked beans in a slightly fatty hash brown. So I knew I was optimistic. I'm always optimistic when I go into reviews. But I kind of knew that this was going to fall flat on its face before it even got going. I always go into my reviews with a positive mindset. Will they work? I hope they work. It would be great if they worked, but in reality, you're better off getting a few hash browns, half a tin of baked beans, pour them over the top, and then you've got a big mouthful of baked beans with your hash browns. Very simple thing to do. It, we're living in an age where everything's trying to become Instagrammable. Everything's trying to be that photo, that kind of buzz, that talk, because it's great advertising. If you've got 50,000 people talking about Heinz baked beans, hash browns, then you're onto a winner before you you've even launched the product. They know what they're doing, these companies. Rating. The bean burgers, the original bean burger, mm, yeah, a bit thin. Could it be? I, I remember bean burgers when they were big and fat. Or if you go to a pub and get a bean burger, they're going to be at least half an inch thick. They're just really thin. There's just not too much. There's not too much there, to be honest with you. The regular ones, okay. It's a six out of ten. The slightly spicier chipotle one's got a little bit more about it, but there's not much baked beans in there. There's more sweet corn. That's a 7 out of 10. And the hash browns of the baked beans in the middle, well, they're not great either. They're not great either, unfortunately. Um, that's a 6 out of 10. It's a bit of a shame because Iceland have launched products in the past. They've, they've done TGI Fridays, which I, I like the range. Um, I like the Ed's Diner or some of the Ed's Diner range. The hot dog's fantastic. Um, the Chiquito range was pretty good. Uh, the, the Harry Ramston's range is pretty good. But Heinz Beans, a Heinz Beans range of ready meals, stroke hash browns, I don't think it's going to do too well. For me, the hash browns get a 6 out of 10.
I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.